We are back in Way of the Hunter on Nez Perce Valley for part two of I Hunt the Entire Map. I hope you guys enjoy. So today's plan is work through Kadixu Shores, but we're going to work down to this campsite. So we're going to go ahead and angle. And then from this campsite in White Pine Orchard, we're going to move up to this campsite. We can cover a bit of ground here because it's not much in White Pine Orchard. And then from this campsite, we'll move over to She Devil campsite. And from that campsite, we'll go down to the cabin. And that will be it for today. How many five stars do you guys think we'll get for this... Uh, Hunting the whole map thing. Leave your guess down in the comments below. We've gotten one so far. I just spooked some moose out of their beds here. They ran up that way. I don't think I fully spooked them. I think I semi-spooked them. So I think they're still relatively close. Just don't quite know where yet. I think they went over this hill. Which kind of sucks for me. Wind's alright, but the reason it sucks is I can't see. So they could be right over this hill, or they could be further down the hill, and I could be okay, but if they're really close... And they were really close. Y'all females? Seems to be. Stare down. Who's gonna win? By the way guys, there's gonna be a very, very important poll coming out on Friday. Uh, I really appreciate if you go over there and uh, give your vote. It's really going to uh, affect the channel. It's going to affect the channel a lot. So give your input, and uh, I really do appreciate that. Mm hmm. Walk away. Walk away. Yeah, I win. I win. All right, I'm going to forget that herd. Didn't look like there's anything special in there, so we're going to move on. Heard some twig snaps here in front of me. I just don't know what it is yet. I have no sight on anything. So I'm just going to slowly walk my way in. Hopefully get some kind of eyes on these guys. Alright, twig snaps sounds like elk. We're that way somewhere. And uh, obviously, you know me. Gotta get the elk. There they are, boys. About 160 yards out. I think we can call these guys in. Hopefully we have a big boy in there. So obviously we'll start with the high fitness call and see what happens. Can't see much. All I could see was that one guy. Looks like he is high fitness. <laughs> he doesn't look crazy big. But there very well could be more than one. It's just this one guy. He's not amazing. He's not too bad, but... He's definitely not a five. That is for sure. He's six by six. Alright, well... Looks like a mount. He is old. That was a hard shot, boys. Yep. Got him! Alright, what do you got, buddy? Oh, yeah, you're tiny. Okay, I'm gonna say you're like a two or three. Two star, 55% mature, very good to take out. Wouldn't have made it very far whatsoever. We are in their secondary habitat, I do believe, so... Wouldn't have, uh... Been very big anyway. Just so. Actually, now that I think about it, we're not even in their secondary habitat. We're in the swamps. What in the world is an elk doing in the swamps? I need help. I can't... can't get out of this tree. I can't duck. I can't do anything. Oh, I made it. That is a dangerous tree. I hear a bear. I don't know where it came from. But I heard a bear. It's some kind of deer here, too. Couldn't quite tell. Kind of running across. Mule deer? Looks like mule deer. We'll check them out after I find this bear, because the bear gave a call first. Alright, let's go back for those mule deer, then. If the bear gives a call, we'll come back out after him, but... I don't know where this guy's at. Question is, do we have anything interesting in these mule deer? 
We're in the swamps, so I think that's their secondary habitat or something else like that. So I doubt there's going to be anything crazy. That's the wrong gun. That will absolutely destroy a mule deer. Okay, there's a big boy in there. I think that bear's to my left. Oh boy. Now the question is, which one do we take? Not a bad herd here. You almost look albino, but you're not. Are you? No. Okay. <laughs> she definitely kind of looks like it in her back legs there. Her shed bears to my left. First, though, we're going to take uh, this mule deer right here. Let me see what we're at for range. About 150-ish. Easy shot. As long as I don't hit a branch. Alright, I'm going to wait for this guy to give me a shot here. I think it's him right here. Yeah, I'll hit a branch there. I can't take that. That's not him anyway. That's him. Man, I had a shot right there of them female went in the way. Alright, well, I'm going to sit it out. Wait for this guy to give me a shot. Bear is definitely to my left. <laughs> Get him. Bear didn't spook. So we're going after that bear next. I'm going to take things a little slow here because I know he's over there, so I don't want to spook him. Yeah, I'd say he's not going to make it very far. Don't know where he went from here. Bear's moving on me. Don't see any blood. That's the problem. Oh, here we go. Oh, I see him right there. Don't even have to track. I'm going to actually crouch here because I still think that bear is pretty close. Hoping I get him before he moves off. I think this uh, mule deer might have a chance to be a three. He's most definitely not a five or a four. But he could be a three. He's old, so he's good to take out. It's not bad. I can definitely tell this is one of the problems here. I'm going to say you're a three. Three star, 65% mature. Good to take out. Don't think he would have pushed to a four. Just to sell. Let's go get that bear. Just got to love views like this. Just got to love it. The bear's over to my right now. He's down there in that little dip, I think. Not going to be the easiest to get to. I tried to follow my wind here so I'd get in front of him so I wouldn't have to worry about my wind too much. He's actually pretty close. He's definitely down there. This is going to be tough. I'm probably going to have to go pretty slow here because he's probably going to hear me before I can even see him. I almost want to work to that knob there, but I don't think that's going to be good enough. good enough view. Got some moose in the area too. Yeah. Definitely down there. I think that bear has moved. Keeps moving. Like down here and then back up here and then back down there and back up here. <laughs> Not quite sure where he's at right now. Last I heard he was over this way. I think I'm going to get to these tree, this tree line here. And give a predator call and see if we can get this guy in. I think that might be our best option in terms of getting him. Alright, the bear's down that way. We might not even have a high fitness bear, so I might be calling it nothing right now. This is... Uh, we might. <laughs> Guess we'll just have to wait. The only problem with waiting is if I wait too long, I might not get anything. He just might be wandering around doing nothing. So I'll probably give it four or five calls. And then we'll push forward and see if we can see this guy. We might have a bear here. Here we go, boys. It's high fitness, so it means it's got to be a male. Oh, 
How close is he? We're going to have to give him a call. I believe so. like right here. Oh, he's old too. Hard shot, boys. Had to have been. At least along. At least. Just went down. I'm going to give him a second, let him expire, make sure he is fully expired before I move, because I don't want him to bolt off and I have to track him even further. So, we'll give it a couple seconds, let him, uh, let him chill out and expire for a bit. I'm going to say he is expired by now. And I think he went down right here. He is down right here, boys. It's got to be a he, because he, he came into a high fitness call. He looks older than this, didn't he? Must have been the lighting. No, he looks gray here. It was a hard shot. Although it... is clearly saying it's not. I'm confused. <laughs> I guess the expansion was enough to... knock the heart out there. Oh yeah, that was, that was a lot of expansion. Holy smokes, Batman, look at that expansion. That's crazy. Okay, what do you guys think this guy is? It's gotta be a male. Has to be. If it's not, I'm gonna be mad. Because <laughs> it just has to be. I'm gonna say he's like a two. Okay, he's a one. One star adult. He could have been a three or a four. It's so hard to tell, man. He looks gray. If you compare this to that, then it's a whole different shade. That right there is black. This right here, gray. Is that gray to you guys? Or am I going crazy? I think... I haven't figured this out yet. I need to do some testing here. I need to take a female. Um, but I want to compare their nose. Nose width. Will I be able to determine if it's a male or female based on the nose width? Either way, this guy's just a cell. We have elk, boys. We have elk. You know what that means. Gotta take them out. We're getting closer to our objective here. I was kind of just following this road, but I think I'm going to cut across here after I take these elk. And then we'll work our way up to this campsite there. Where you at, elk? I know you're down there somewhere. Just not sure where. Alright, let's give a high fitness call for a male here and see if we can get a big boy. Unlikely, because we're not in a primary zone. Got one close here, boys. I think I have a couple of them coming in, actually, but this is the first one to show up. There's two. Don't quite see them yet, though. Well, he's not bad. But I'm pretty sure there's another one right behind him. Yep. Need to see both of these guys. I don't think I'm going to be able to. Yeah, I didn't think so. This guy's super close. If I don't take this guy, the other guy's going to spook. I hate this. I hate when they do this. Yeah, that guy was bigger. Man, I hate that. Let's try to bring him back in. I don't think they're going to spook. Alright, I decided against it. I think I'm going to leave that guy, let his genetics carry down. I think he's the bigger of the two. This guy's got, like, weird brown gold antlers. It's strange. Definitely hard shot. Good shot. I'm going to say you're a two. Two star, 67% mature. Just under a thousand pounds. Just a sale, though. 
All right, I just slept. It is now 7.30. Our next objective is to get to this campsite up here. Once we're there, we'll move over into She-Devil. Currently, though, we are in White Pine Orchard. Here's some white tail in the distance somewhere. Somewhere up that way. I think they're going to be over that hill. Wind is decent. It's going that direction. I don't want to push too far up because if I get too far up and they work their way down, then obviously my wind's going to be an issue. So I want to stay down low. See if I can spot these guys before uh, they spot me. Well, I managed to spot them before they spotted me. And the question here is do we have anything worth taking in there? So far, I only see females. I'm going to have to get a little closer, I think. I don't think there's going to be anything crazy in there, so this might be a pass. But I'm going to get a little closer here, try to cut them off up here in the front. I think they're working their way across this hilltop. And it's a very tiny buck there. There's a tiny buck there. I think those are the only two bucks we have in this herd. Looks like that's going to be it, actually. Yeah, this herd is going to be a pass. Way too small. Got a black bear in front of me. Not quite sure how far. It's probably within 300 yards or so. Well, spooked him. Didn't see him, didn't hear him. Just got too close. He gone. Well, surprisingly, there was not much in this area. Um, in White Pine Orchard. I mean, we had a couple of black bear, I think. I think that was it. I think there's one elk. Can't remember. Anyway, we're going to move over to She-Devil, and we're going to head to this campsite here. We're going to work our way across here, across this mountain into that campsite, and then down, I think this side right here is where I'll go, into the cabin, and then next episode we'll move on from there, I think. I believe we have some elk in front of me. Couldn't quite pinpoint it, but I think they're in this general direction. There they are, and somehow they know I'm here. It doesn't look like we have anything crazy, but I can't see all of them yet, so that might be a reason why. Could be one in here that I don't know about. Alright, there's something to my left as well, so I think I'm going to go ahead and give a call here. Potentially bring these guys in, and maybe there's another herd to my left that I could bring in, but I'm not sure what they are. No telling. It could be mule deer or something. Bighorn sheep or goat. We are in that kind of area, so... Alright, looks like we got one coming in. This guy right here, which is not... No, this guy right here, which is not very big. But I kind of want to take this guy because he's the oldest. And we clearly know he's not high fitness. So I think he's going to be the one I take if he gives me a shot. I'm not going to bother with this guy. He's still got plenty of time to grow. Okay, we have elk to the left. I guess we'll keep calling then. Cause I don't know what's to the left. What you got, buddy? He's decent. He's not... He's not crazy big. Both gave a call at the same time. I think this guy's older than this guy over here, so I think I'll take the guy on the left. I was gonna take that low fitness guy, but I, uh, didn't know this guy was coming in. Came out of nowhere. I know I heard twig snaps to my left. I just didn't know what they were. Now we know. I believe that is on double lung. Give him a couple of seconds. We'll go check out the spot and see what it was. I don't know what to tell you guys, but there's no blood. I have no idea how I missed that shot to the point where there's no blood. I'm going to have to check that out in editing. But I can't find any. I'm going to search around a little longer, but I, uh, <laughs> I don't think I hit him. Which is weird, because I'm pretty sure I saw blood. Sheesh. I just saw a bighorn sheep walk by, so we're going to have to go check those guys out. They are just up ahead, probably 200 yards out. 
And there's one right there. Don't see any males yet. We'll get a little closer, see what we got. Oh, baby, there's a big boy in there. Holy smokes. Holy Batman. Oh my gosh, this guy's huge. This guy is huge. Of course, why wouldn't they walk somewhere where I can't see them? We're gonna have to work our way in. Well, I have found the culprit. Wind. Uh, I wasn't paying attention to my wind. It's blowing right at them. So, good thing they moved that way then. That way I can circle around this way and get in closer to them. I'm just gonna have to take things nice and slow. Ah, smart bighorn sheep. They kind of looped around. I'm telling you, if he's not a five, I'm gonna be disappointed. You guys need to make up your mind which way you're going. Going left, going right, coming at me. What's happening? They're pretty close. What's the distance here? 200? Is that him? I think that's him right there. I do believe so. Come on. Now I'm behind a rock and a tree. You've heard being stuck between a rock and a hard place. Well, I'm stuck between a rock and a tree. Just hope this female doesn't smell me before he gives a shot. There he is. Oh my. Batman. Move, female! Could have had a heart shot right there if it wasn't for the female. Can't do it while he's running at me. Move, female! Ah, these females. <laughs> they just keep getting in the way. <laughs> they just get in the way. <laughs> oh, come on. Come on. Don't you do this to me. Don't you do this to me. I've got 500 hours in this game. Don't you do this to me. Can't take that. I'm gonna hit the female. And this guy's gonna walk right into the female's butt again. Did I miss that? I'm gonna put two in just to be safe. That second was definitely a long. Go down, buddy. Go down. Alright, well... I think I got him. We'll have to, uh... Give it a couple of minutes here and let him expire and then we'll track him down. I rushed that first shot. So I think I missed. That's why I took the second one. Because I had to make sure I got him. Had to. I don't know where I shot this guy, though. Oh, he was still alive. He just died. I do want to see where I hit him, though. It was somewhere around here, wasn't it? Okay, so it came from this way. Okay, there's the second shot. The first shot was a flesh wound. So yes, we definitely had to take that second shot. Oh, I'm glad I did then. Because that would have been bad. We would have missed out on this guy. I do believe he's a five, guys. I really do. He is huge. Yeah, I hit him right below the lung there. Man. Bad shot. Second shot. Left and right lunged him. Good. Slightly missed the heart there. Could have heart shot him. Absolutely huge. I'm saying a five, guys. I really am. Oh, he's a four. What a troll. Oh, 82% mature. He's huge. Holy smokes. That sucks. I really was hoping for a five. Man, just to sell. We made it to the cabin. If you guys want to see more videos like this, check these videos out right here. Thank you guys for watching. I think that's going to be it for this episode, though. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please head down and hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to leave a like. I really do appreciate that. Also, leave a comment. I like to hear from you guys. I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Have a fantastic day. OCG out.